What's good, people? It's your boy, Roddy Too Good. Back with another episode of The Pilot Show. <laughs> the Pilot Show. Yo. So we got some, like, we got a little bit of uh, breaking news for real. We got a little bit of breaking news. So I know um, if some of y'all might not know, but y'all probably know by now. So the uh, the case for uh, the Young Dolph case, uh, it started today. And um, today, like, they're revealing some stuff. Like, the video came out of, like, his last moments. Um, some of the, the guys in there that was in court, that he uh, he kind of admitted that it was him and somebody else that was uh, the shooters and things like that. But the revealing thing was today, and that was found out in the court, is that, uh, well, it was alleged that uh, young Yo Gotti's brother, Big Jook, had put... Uh, a uh, hundred thousand, hundred thousand dollars on uh, Young Dolph's head. Craziness, bro. That's crazy. So this is what's going on. They said that uh, J- Big Jook he spoke to the killers like right before and right after, and that he was like kind of like the sole reason why. I guess he was like the sole reason why Young Dolph got uh, hit up and stuff like stuff like that. This is craziness, bro. Like this. I don't see this case lasting that long, man. I, I see it kind of open and shut. You got a guy, he basically admitted he was there. They found, they got the motive. They got the guy, the guy. He Unfortunately, he has passed and he was, uh, he was hit up as well. So, uh, yeah, man, I think this is going to be like an open, open shut case. You know, RP the young Dolph. This is, this is sad, man. This is real, real sad because it's just like, yo, the, to me, I know the beef had escalated to what it was, but it really started off of, off of some like something that not that serious because at the time I know Young Dolph he was a uh, he was trying to sign no no yo yo Gotti he was trying to sign Young Dolph and I guess uh he was like kind of like wanted to do his own thing and stuff like that so it's just like I mean that because that's where it stems from like everything else is kind of like extra. But that's kind of where it stems from. And, like, yo, it's a lot of, and to tell you the truth, it is a lot of situations like that. Because even, uh, I think Sha Glizzy was trying to say that, too. He was, like, I think he was, like, rolling with uh, Gotti and stuff like that. And he said, like, yo, I was run, rolling with him tight. We went down there, and then somehow his chain got snatched. And then I ain't going to hold you. <laughs> the first time I heard a black youngster, it was that that moment right there is when, he went to go get uh, Shaq Glizzy's chain back. That was like the first time I really, really heard about him like that. Because I think they even brought him like on a breakfast club after that. And then he just like exploded into what he is today. And then it's just this uh, character. You know what I'm saying? So it is it is crazy if this is true. I hope nothing really gets back on your Gotti. Hopefully he's clean. Like, but... Bro, like, this beef and stuff is not worth it. Like, we see what just happened and transpired. Like, yo, it's a lot of people who lost family members. It's a lot of people who lost, like, like Colt's brothers. Like, yo, his brother is gone. And I think Black Youngster brother was gone, too. Like, so it's just, like, cra- all of this is just this craziness, man. So it's just, oh, man. Like, I just, it's okay to just not rock with somebody. Like, it's okay to be like, dang, I wanted to sign him. I wanted to be my artist. He said he wanted to do his own thing. All right, cool. Like, just don't don't expect me to help you or nothing like that. It's okay to give a person a cold shoulder and not want to harm them for life. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I like, they was they both was building something very, very good in uh, Memphis, man. Because you got him, you got Glock. And I think it, he had, like, a couple other, a couple other artists that, uh, that was on the come up and that uh Dolph was trying to promote and stuff. But Glock, he's he's uh solidified in the game right now. You got youngster, you got and Gotti, man, he's just one of them, bro. He's definitely probably on the next list as a one of them moguls for real. Cause you got Black Youngster, you got Glorilla, you got uh uh Moneybag Yo, you got all you got all these dudes. Like so it's just unfortunate seeing that like what beef can can turn into man because now we ain't even talking about their greatness now we talking about them versus them now we pent against each other you know what i'm saying so it's definitely like definitely crazy to see 
this case, I, I promise you, this case, I don't think it's going to last long, man. Because you, I think the first day and we getting all this evidence, like, I think we just, I think it's might going to be like a, a clo- uh, open, and, open and shut case, man. Because this is crazy, man. This is crazy, man. I, I pray, I hope God, he has nothing to do with this. I hope that his name doesn't really come up because it seems like it was his brother that was uh that was leading this situation because like they said he he called him before and after and like he met I think he they said he he met with him like right before or something like that. This is craziness, bro. This is craziness, man. Like um yeah, man, yo, man, y'all just stop the beef, man. Stop the beef, yo. Just make the music. This is crazy, bro. Now you got somebody that's gone, yo. I promise you, yo. Young Dolph was my name. <laughs> yo, I loved Young Dolph. He just with the the music was so fire, yo. And then he was just he had that motivation music. He had that that swag to him too. Like it was just it was just dope. And I I probably like seeing now it's just all messed up because now you cannot go back. Like eventually, like not liking somebody is probably like all right, we don't like each other, but. If y'all get in the same room, eventually y'all probably could rock with each other. Y'all, like, imagine if they would have rocked with each other, like, they would have rocked with each other and they would have came together and then we would have got some hits, you know what I'm saying? Like, with some P, PR Lee artists and some uh, CMG joints. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we would that thing would have been dope, but, man, the beef get too crazy, man. The beef get too crazy, and I feel like now it's just, it's even worse, man, because, like, I just hope... You just don't want this to go too, too far. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, now they got the killers. They got they got the people who did it. Now, you don't want to get... This is a, a bad time for people to have, like, some things around your name, man. Because I promise you, people just want to pick up how to Rico. It's like, oh, this dude, the rapper, he big time? All right, cool. Got you. Let's, let's hit him with the Rico now. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't want that to happen, man. But, um, yeah, man, so... I wonder. I wonder how. I wonder what else they're gonna do. This was only the first day, and like, yeah, I promise you, like, this case went way. Uh, maybe because it was all. It was kind of all laid out, man. It was kind of all laid out. Like people was talking. I guess I, you. Pro- they probably got some people talking because all this stuff happening in the first day is kind of crazy. Like you found out the motive. You found out the guys. You found out. You got the video. Like so, it's like, dang. Like yo, what's going on? Like. It's really like open and shut, man. Shout out to them, man. I guess that's what some crazy police work they doing down there in Memphis, man. But um, yeah, man. Tell me what y'all think about it, man. Tell me what y'all think about what's going on in Memphis. Tell me if is it is this going? This is definitely not going in the beef, bro. This is not going in the beef. Unfortunately, if I was y'all, I would stop beefing because yo, if y'all don't, they going they going to stop you, bro. Like you, we see what's going on. It's like the third. It's like the third case that's going on in hip hop right now. You got the Young Thug case, you got this case, and you got the Diddy case, and you got uh, even the Pee Wee Longway thing. Like, yo, just be careful out there, y'all. Like, yo, I'm telling you, yo, crime is not worth it when you're famous, bro. You <laughs> when you're famous, it's it's real, it's real easy for them to throw some throw the book at you, yo. They won't make you an example, yo. I promise you. But um, yeah, man, like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, comment on there, tell me what y'all think about it. Peace, I'm out.